watching silo one of my favorite tv series to watch um hopefully if you guys haven't watched it and you are planning to watch it then please make sure you skip ahead because i'm going to be talking a little bit about the season one finale so if you don't want to hear anything about it i'm not going to speak about it in detail but you know i'm going to describe what i kind of saw and show some pictures so if you don't want to see that then make sure you skip ahead because i'm going to be talking about that in five four three two one so silo definitely is one of the best sci-fi shows i've watched in a while and i think most of it has to do with the fact that the person who adapted the book to the tv i think if i'm not mistaken has basically been reading and you know going by the source material like to to a t like literally like no no kind of swerve you know obviously some things you know show better on tv than on books and vice versa but for the most part for the kind of main flesh of the story it's all been kind of lifted from the books which i've heard are fantastic and i was meant to read the books actually but because season one was kind of being wrapped up quite quickly i didn't want to spoil it so i thought you know what let me just wait and finish season one and then i can do the subsequent seasons um because i think they basically split the three books if i'm not mistaken silo and they split each book into two so you kind of get six seasons out of all of them kind of right um but it's really good so essentially the premise of silo is that there's some sort of apocalyptic event happened on earth or some planet resembling earth and everybody had to resort to living underground in these underground silos and they the silos are essentially these weird hierarchical classes systems where if you're one of the lower rung people the working class people you're right down at the bottom at the pit of this silo um on the lowest level next to all the machinery and shit and then if you're higher up you're obviously way higher up the silo um whatever with more you know with maybe less restrictions to move around more opportunities to have higher caliber jobs and whatever it may be anyway long story short um there are a few people in that silo who are intent on finding the truth out about why they're there and kind of trying to uncover the mysteries of the outside and see whether or not it is as toxic as this they've been led to believe by their leaders and then eventually you know throughout the series certain people die trying to get out some people die trying to get to the truth um and essentially they figure out towards the end that the whole idea around the outside um being this complete barren wasteland that's completely desolate and toxic maybe not true because the screen that they all look out onto sometimes um to the outside that they project back into the flipping place maybe is displaying an image that isn't actually real um so over time um a few people in there decide to kind of you know go out and i think the i think it's i think it's called i forgot what it's called i think it's cleaning basically i forgot what the term is where you basically are sent outside and they put you in this makeshift spacesuit and you're sent outside to quote unquote clean and the idea behind it is that the people inside see you thinking that you're going to reach this promised land and then because of the lack of oxygen or the toxic air whatever it may be called the person usually collapses and dies and their body just remains out there which for everyone to see so it's kind of like a you know and like a warning for everybody hey don't go outdoors but overall just the premise of the show how it's structured the themes around it um the pursuit for the truth um the manipulation um the control like everything around it is really interesting to watch especially considering you know what we're living in today's society at the moment but it's done in a really interesting way very clever way it's very well written the dialogue is flipping amazing and again just a very very decent show considering all the fracas out there and for sure for me being a sci-fi fan it definitely is something that has um filled that void that existed now because the expanse you know finished whenever it finished so and there hasn't been anything as good as the expanse on tv you know in a long time so to get something like silo is absolutely amazing especially with foundation about to start very soon in a couple of weeks like my sci-fi itch is going to be absolutely flipping um you know well and truly satisfied over the next few weeks but definitely if you've got if you've got some time and you need something to watch i really recommend you check out silo silo is absolutely fantastic 